So Microsoft has released their new version of Movie Maker. And there's been, I guess, a couple versions of Movie Maker. There was the classic Movie Maker, there was the Windows Vista Movie Maker, but now they have something completely different, which is called Windows Live Movie Maker. Now, if you, have, if, I think it's only for Windows Vista and Windows 7. I don't know if it's for Windows XP, but it's part of an update. I updated my computer a couple of days ago. I think it was yesterday, or no, Friday, and it replaced my original Movie Maker and got me this Windows Live Movie Maker. I want to see what it was, test it out, and I saw that it was pretty fast loading, and it was really cool because it has a lot of other settings. That it, other movie makers did not have. You know how other people try to hack it a little bit, try to tweak with this old movie makers to make it go HD. Well, you don't need to anymore. This thing already has HD in it. So if it's gonna be standard definition, as you can tell, it's gonna be like this a little bit or just a little bit smaller. It's gonna be like that maybe, but you can extend it, make it bigger. So, and the aspect ratio, you could change it to widescreen, 16 by, 16 by 9. So, it'll be wider. So it'll be a widescreen. It's pretty cool. Add photos and had videos and photos. Add music, titles, caption, credits, auto movie. I don't know what that is. You could rotate left, rotate right. And, yeah, I'll explain these in a little while. But, the visual effects are so awesome. See, you don't even need to click on them to get a preview, just hover over them. And the way this Movie Maker looks, it kind of looks sort of like Microsoft Word. It kind of reminds me of it, by the little ribbons on top and everything. <clears throat> so I'm going to hover over this visual. Hover over this one. So these are all cool visual effects. So yeah, these are really cool. They have animations. <clears throat> this is no this this one has no animation. Hold over this one. Crossfade, pixelate, and flip. I really like this one. It's I personally like it more than the other one. I think they this is like the best one yet out of all the movie makers this is the best one. So let's say you're done editing it. So let's go right here. Now you could just publish the movies directly to YouTube if you wanted to. But I wouldn't I I don't do that cuz I don't I don't know if it's in HD yet. I don't know. So you just save movie. So these are all the new things in Windows Live Movie Maker. For email or instant messaging, they have a special size which is 320 by 240 for portable devices 320 by 240 standard definition 640 by 8 for, by 480 sorry widescreen 480p so you can set this up to your TV watch it in HD widescreen and the definition would be 720 by 480 high definition 720p is 1280 by 720, I believe. They have burnt to DVD like they always, always have. So, what's the burning to DVD? 720 by 480. That's really cool. Now, this is a brand new thing that they just put HD 1080p. So, let's go to that. So, the, de the aspect ratio is going to be 920, 920, 1920 by 1080. Which is really cool. Um, if you saw my previous video about the Halloween prank on the computer, my intro is in high definition 1080p. Because Camtasia Studio would make my intro smaller. Sometimes, yeah. And I didn't like that, so I just made it 1080p and added my video. And it would look really nice. Um, little Two little black bars on top. But I didn't mind. Because it's still full screen. So yeah, this is really awesome what they did. So let's just play the intro. As you can tell, it's right here. They have little thumbnails. So 
It's really cool. So let's play the intro. Now you can see that was really cool, made by AdHack TV. And you can tell I was with my mouse, I was flowing with this. These are little thumbnails, so they're easier to edit. So, yeah, and let's say I just want to save this movie. I'm going to make it 720p, so I'm going to save it as 720p. I'm going to name it Test Intro. So, look, oops, I misspelled test. Test Intro. Save it. And it saves really fast. It saves way faster than the old Windows Movie Maker or all the other ones. This is 15 seconds, so it doesn't take so long. Um, I recorded a test, and I put it up here, and I edited it with Windows Live Movie Maker. And it didn't take so long. It was a minute and 24 seconds. It took really, it was, took, it didn't take very fast. I mean, sorry. It wasn't really slow. It was pretty fast. No lie. It was really fast. So look, it's almost done already. So 99 is done. And it tells you right here. Nothing's going to pop out. Oh, it should. Here it is. Your movie test intro WMV is complete. You can play your movie now or open the folder that it's in. So you can play. So I'm going to hit play. It opens media player. So I'm not going to play it. So yeah, that's um, that's my review for the new Windows Live Movie Maker. So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to my videos.